guys and welcome back. So today I have for you my top five favorite high-end eyeshadow palettes. So I just recently did the top five drugstore eyeshadow palettes and I had a few people ask me if I would do my favorite high-end palettes. So today I am going to show you just that. So if you would like to see, then just keep watching. Alright, so I'm not sure if this first one counts as an eyeshadow palette because it's all of my single eyeshadows, but I had to put this in because I use this almost every single day. These are my Anastasia single eyeshadows, and these are in a ah, Z palette, but it is the extra large one. These are just so good, and as you know, I love like warm toned eyeshadows. So you can see this eyeshadow palette is all of my warm toned Anastasia ones. So the three shades that I use the most are Orange Soda, Fawn, and Birkin. Those are like my my three go-to and then this shade these two white shades here so for recommendations I would buy like the little quad palette that they sell like Ulta or Anastasia.com even and get Birkin Fawn orange soda and then one of the white colors if you want it shimmery or matte either one um, and just make your own little palette and this those colors are just so perfect Anastasia has such amazing eyeshadows and I love it all right sticking with the Anastasia theme I'm going to talk about another one of my favorites this is the Anastasia modern Renaissance palette I know a lot of people really really love this palette um, and for good reason they have some really pretty kind of warm toned brown shades but then they throw in some pink we have a darker brown over here some oranges and then some lighter shades as well I hate when a palette doesn't have like a brow bone highlight or like inner corner highlight shade and this one is just so perfect and once again Anastasia has such a great pigmentation with all of her products um, especially her eyeshadows I've never used this one in the center I think it's von fresco it's kind of like a purpley mauve kind of color, but all of these are super beautiful and I highly recommend these as well. Alright, so this next palette I actually don't really ever put in a video because it's been out of stock for forever. Literally, it's been out of stock for so long. I think it's like either in stock now or about to be in stock, but this is the um, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. When I got it, I just absolutely fell in love. So the colors are Oh my god, it smells so good. The colors are pretty similar to all of the other palettes that I have, um, but they are just like warmy browns, and they have some purples in here as well. They have this really beautiful green, and they have some pinky oranges, and this color right here, it is called Luscious, is my absolute favorite. I use this so often, and it's just like the perfect shade, and it's so shimmery. It's like kind of pink, you can see, but then when you like hit it in the real light, it's like golden, and oh my god, it's just so pretty. And then I love this shimmery brown shade also it has such amazing pigmentation it's never patchy and they smell so good and oh just can you see those they just oh my god they're so pretty I love it I think I have a look using this palette I will leave the link down below for you I like absolutely love how the look came out um, oh, I just love this palette let me know if you would like some videos on this palette and I will definitely do that for you. Moving right along, my next one is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I love this palette, obviously I wouldn't be talking about it. Um, this one is like perfectly right up my alley. It is warm browns and that's basically it. It has a little bit of warm reds, kind of some deeper browns over here that are more cool. And these are really great pigmentation as well. I love these shades. This one didn't come off very well but I swatched it funky. Um, but they are just so incredibly beautiful. I love using these two shades mixed with one of these and then maybe like this on the lid or like that on the lid. Um, but these, if you haven't swatched these, are super buttery as well. So as you can see, that was like hardly even dipped into my finger. Um, but I love, love, love these. Super great pigmentation. So like when I'm putting my finger in here, I'm like literally rubbing it twice and then putting it on my arm. And it's just it's just amazing. So if you haven't noticed, there is a common theme with all of these palettes so far. They're warm toned and they're brown and they have dark and then they also have the light in them because I like eyeshadow palettes that have everything in one place. All right, and then the last palette that I want to talk about is from Violet Voss, and it is the HG Holy Grail palette. This palette is so bomb, too. Um, if you can't get your hands on the Anastasia Single Eyeshadows, this would be a good option. It is very similar to the 35O palette, except this has more of a variety, I think. Um, it has really, really nice transition, transition shades. It has some deeper shades for your crease, and once again, going into the berry kind of red kind of color. It has a really pretty orange color, and then the shimmery colors in this are just so good. Do you see that? Right here. 
So the other palette that I have by Violet Voss is the Laura Lee palette and I almost picked that one instead of this one but I didn't just because I've talked about the Laura Lee palette so many times and I do love that one as well. Um, but this one is amazing also. So just swatching these, this pigmentation is so nice. The colors that are shimmery, oh my god, just feel like butter when you are swiping them. Just look at that pigmentation. I know you just saw that. I know you did. And what I love about this is that it comes with a huge mirror as well. It is so big um, and it's like the perfect traveling palette because it has so many different colors in it and it has such a big mirror and then it also comes with the lighter colors as well and then some darker ones down here. It does not come with a black but that doesn't bother me because I don't really ever use black anyways. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love, love, love this palette. All right, guys, those were my top five eyeshadow palettes for my high-end products. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite eyeshadow palette is down below. I would love to see what it is. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of you so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.